Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to add a workstation to a server running Active Directory. In this case I have a Windows 7 workstation and I have Active Directory um, installed on Server 2008 Enterprise Edition. Um, before I begin, I will say I was going to upload a tutorial of myself up, um, installing Windows 7. However, that went horribly wrong. I highly recommend that you do not install Windows 7 in Virtual PC. It took about 80 minutes just to, you know, copy and extract all of the files over. I believe this is a problem with Virtual PC, and I think if I did it in VirtualBox, it would take nowhere near as long as that, because it only took me 20 minutes to install Server 2008. Um, the machine I'm currently using for both of these virtual machines has um, access to a powerful Duracore processor and they both have 512 megabytes of RAM, which isn't a lot. So um, my computer, you know, can't support that much. It's in need of an upgrade. So let's begin. First, I need to go to the um, Server 2008 machine. Go to Start, Administrative Tools, Active Directory Users and Computers. Um, oh yeah, I added my computer before, sorry. I should have deleted that. So anyways, um, when you go, you need to click on your domain. My domain is domain.local. Go to computers. I'll just um, delete my computer so I can show you how I add it. Go to new, computer. And this is the name of my computer. This obviously isn't the type of name you would give to a workstation in a corporate environment. So since I'm virtualizing it, it doesn't really matter. OK. The computer has been added. That should be all I have to do on the server. Now, if I go to the actual client, I am going to need to make changes um, to the network settings. I've currently got two networks. I believe this first network is the one getting the internet connection, um, you know, through the virtual machine from my host computer. And this must be the second network card, which I am able to modify to work with other virtual devices. So I'm going to click um, Properties, and I'm going to do IP version 4, use the following IP address. Um, I'm not sure if you remember from my previous video that the server was 10.10.10.1, so I'm just going to make this, you know, 10.10.10.2. Obviously, do not use this type of IP addressing in a corporate environment. It is incorrect in many different ways. It is just completely wrong. You should never, you know, use a 10-10-10 network if you can avoid it. You know, there are just too many IP addresses that people can use, which isn't very secure. Um, prefer a DNS server. Since I have set up DNS on um, the other server, which is 10.10.10.1, that is what I'm going to enter. So 10.10.10.2, 1, 10.10.10.1. Uh, that should be all I have to do here. OK. OK. Close. And now I need to change, uh, add the computer to the domain. From memory, I should be able to right click my computer, go to properties. Um, change settings. OK, to rename this computer or change its domain or work group, click change. That's what I'm going to do. And in the domain field, it is domain.local, very imaginative. Click OK. OK, enter the name and password of an account with permission to join the name. So administrator. Hopefully this works, fingers crossed. Welcome to the domain.local domain. Thank God something went right today. Before restarting, save any open files and close all the programs. OK. Close. And I'm going to restart now. And I might pause the video. Now, as you can see, my Windows 7 client has um, restarted. It took quite a while because the virtual machines don't have much RAM. And the screensaver has obviously come on my um, server. So I need to click Control Alt Delete. And as you can see now, I am with the prompt mark PC 
slash mark. So I am now able to log on to um I haven't actually um, experimented with this on Windows 7 before though. Um, this is to log on locally I believe. And what happens if I click switch user, add a user? Ah uh, yep, yeah. oh here it is, log on to domain. So if I want to log on to the actual domain I have to type in the username and the password. So it's slightly different to how it worked with um, you know, Windows XP etc when connected to Server 2003. So that's it for this video, that's, what it's, um, that's how you connect a workstation to a domain using Windows 7 in this case with um, Server 2008 Enterprise Edition. Uh, thanks for watching.